Namaskar. I'm happy to be among such a sagacious gathering of lawyers with very long standing years of experience and you know eminently qualified. I actually have none in law, zero. Uh, I, you know, this, this conference title is Intersection of Life and Law. So while I leave the law part to you, I'd like to bring a bit of life perspective. I think uh, my field has been socio-economic development of India, more specifically poverty alleviation. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And today we find that we are vis-a-vis <coughs> -vis poverty, we are not at a nice place. If you look at what India needs today is, you know, a spatially dispersed job generative and equitable growth. Is that happening? The economy is today a bit precariously perched. Investments are going down. Rupee is depreciating. Energy prices are going up. <clears throat> the consumer confidence is low. And if you have looked at the CMI data, the most alarming figure of it all is the labor participation rate between 2017 and now has been down 46%. You know, 46% people who could be in a job are not even looking at a job. They've you know, kind of been uh, becoming very fatalistic about it. On the other hand, if you look at financial situations or states, these are precariously perched. Uh, so in this scenario, if you look at in context of the last budget, I think government is looking at uh, infrastructure as the savior of the last resort. All the eggs are being put in the infrastructure basket. All infrastructure uh, ministry budgets have been up significantly. And we've got this project called Gati Shakti, which is supposed to speed up things. And uh, perhaps, uh, you know, answer to the uh, joblessness, incremental capital to output ratio and areas like that. And in all of that, I find that one great impediment has been a very slow law, legal arbitration and uh, the enforcement of the arbitration award process. You know, there is, it's an unending exercise. It's like climbing up a slippery pole. Just when you see that you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you find that, you don't know, it's actually much more deeper and darker uh, ahead and we've we've had cases like Cairn, we've had other cases where you know arbitrations itself have been lingering on and on for years and once the award has been done uh, again uh, the implementation of, of award itself leads a uh, lot to be desired so in this scenario if india really has to become a developed country by 2047 what is it that we need to change what is it you know, yesterday I was reading the uh, Attorney General made a statement that we should set up arbitration cities, you know, but what will you do with arbitration cities unless you fix the arbitration process and arbitration process is a two way process. If you do not respect international arbitration awards, who will respect yours? So, uh, you know, a lot needs to be corrected. And I am, as I said, not an expert. The reason I am here, and I'm, you know, we are discussing this in a Scotch summit is the profound impact it has on job generation and, in, and investments and people wanting to come and build this country.